Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Yes! Welcome to another episode of Cut the Tape here at the world-famous frame and picture shop in Wilbraham, Massachusetts. I am the owner and I'm your host, Rick Alvarez. So, since my wife doesn't watch the show, I started having boxes delivered here. Since my wife now works at home due to the pandemic, it gets a lot harder when you have stuff delivered at home. You know, you can't just quite make it there before she opens the door and be like, oh, there's another box here. Let me guess, oh, it's for Rick. That's the good thing about having your own business. I just have stuff mailed here. So, while it's still early in the day and I have no customers in right now, I thought we'd open something up. Now this is something I've been trying to get for a long time. Uh, I love Beast Wars. I have a Beast Wars tattoo. Beast Wars is, you know, 20 years, 25 years in and Beast Wars is still the shit. Which brings me to the box. Now, we got some delicious brown paper. We'll save that for later, have that for dessert. This is my first time ordering products from TransArt. And so I have some TransArt products. What could be in the box, Rick? What's TransArt? You don't know what TransArt is? TransArt's been making some third-party trans metal masterpiece scale Beast Wars figures. And I finally took the plunge. I thought, all right, let me start with two, see how I feel about them. I saw Rat Traps coming out, and who doesn't love Rat Trap? I love Rat Trap. So I'm just, you know, I'm looking at these boxes, and there's nothing to identify what the hell it is. So if I was, like, there's a little barcode here at the bottom. If I was a distributor and I ordered a bunch of these different products, I'd be like, all right, which one's which? I don't, I don't know which one is which. So they come individually boxed instead of cased. I, I don't know. It seems like kind of a waste of a box. I, I don't know. Anyway, here it is. This is just the outer shipping box. And we have a faux transmetal Cheetor. Metal Panther Commander. Oh, it's like it's like his room, you know? There's a little picture there of of a spider lady and him and his, his buddy, right? Straight out of the show. I'm excited for these, you know. Never say never at this point. You know, who would it? I never thought we'd get a Masterpiece Cheetor in Transformers. And then we get a Masterpiece Tigatron, which is a whole new mold. So never say, we got Masterpiece Skids. Never say never. All right, here we have Gorilla Man. Uh, skateboard gorilla. <laughs> skateboard gorilla. <laughs> skateboard gorilla. Oh my gosh. Well, I love Cheetor. I'm excited to go to TFCon in March in Los Angeles. Uh, is it James Ian Corbett? I think that's the actor's name who played Cheetor. I've never met him. It's like the one guy left I really want to meet. I think I've met everybody else on Beast Wars. 
yeah, I think I've I've met uh, except the guy who does Ravage and Rampage. I've I've met a lot of people on on Beast Wars. Oh well, this is quite nice. Very nice. We get a little tiny mini Panther card. It's not metal, but it's really stiff cardboard. It's very nice. Here's the exciting thing. We get microfiber cloth. I can clean my glasses with it. Or I can polish my kitty. <laughs> we got a stand. <laughs> All right, so here he is. I mean, he looks gorgeous right off the bat. He looks gorgeous. Uh, doesn't look like there's an alternate head, which is, hey, that's fine. It's a little odd. At, at this point, it's like, oh, that's a little weird that there's no alternate head for a third party figure. Ooh, I wasn't sure if there was gonna be die cast or not on this. And there is a substantial amount of die cast. Wow, you know what, th this is like, this is like holding a super articulated version of the original Transmetal Cheetor. Oh, this thing, oh my gosh, this thing's great. Look, they've got the little, his hands open and close. Oh, this is, this is great. Oh, this is absolutely, fit. I didn't even transform this yet. I didn't even try and get him to stand yet. But this is, uh, this is, this is just, this is, a, this is A plus. They get, they get a clap from me right off the bat. Didn't even mess around, like two seconds into playing with my kitty. And, <laughs> uh, if you know, you know. I mean, this is great. This is really, really great. He's got a bunch of blast effects. All right. I assume we can put the arms up so you can, yup. He's got his tail here. I doubt this tail is articulated. Oh, it's bendy. Just when you think the it can't get any better. It's a bendy tail. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I see why they included the microfiber cloth because it's so easy to get fingerprints on this. Wow, this is great. This, this is absolutely great. Oh my gosh, I love this. Looking at this though, and this is not a bad thing. It looks like it has an extremely similar transformation to the original inspiration for the figure. And that's, that's not a bad thing. It looks like maybe the side jets are spring loaded. I love Beast Wars so much, man. You know who I found out is a Beast Wars fan? Evil Uno from AEW. I gotta send Evil Uno a Beast Wars book. I know it's like a 20 year old book at this point, but I, I love wrestling. And AEW is just killing it. I don't even watch whatever the other company is anymore. I don't. this plug in here like this or does this yeah I want to say this plugs in here right or does that plug in here does it plug in like that oh pl plugs in like that and then like this oh it it's it's brilliant it looks like it just came right out of the show This, this definitely looks like it's spring-loaded, and I'm wondering what the trigger 
is for this. Blast effects in the back. I love it. Oh my gosh. I love it. I wish I could eat you up. He's got the little heart on his tum tum. Transarts. A plus. Wow. Holy shit, that's, that's straight fire. I love it. Oh my God. But Cheetor, I would say is a tier B character in Beast Wars. The real prize is this guy. Cheetor is a special little guy. He's cute. But then there's Optimal, Optimus Primal. Oh. This scale is very, oh, man, look, look at that. I want this in all the different colors that it's available. And I want a purple version of this. He's got different gorilla faces, which is, you know. It look, I mean, this looks, it's chromed out. It looks like it's CGI, like I'm actually holding CGI in my hand. He's got different faces for his robot face. Another microfiber club so I can rub the dude down. Again, it looks like it's a very similar transformation to the original toy and that's not a bad thing. If it works, it works. And you don't always have to, you know, improve on something. Give it more articulation, yeah. It's got the rocker feet. It's got hands that open and shut. And I'm surprised this part's not metal. Not a whole lot of metal in him as opposed to the Cheetor, but. Man, he's translucent. I'm holding him up to the light. This is so beautiful. I uh, I wish I had gotten into these before. This is so beautiful. I think they do a, ra a ravage, uh, transmutate. Eh, I don't really need a transmute. Uh, you know, if I can get transmutate, I'll get transmutate. Let's swing this dude around. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it's it's virtually identical transformation to the toy, to the original toy. And there's nothing wrong with that. I can't remember if the fist, I think the fist did flip out. It's been a long time since I played with that toy. I think the fist did flip out. Seems a bit unnecessary. Like they could have just consigured it somehow. I mean, it's straight up the same transformation. But I mean, look at it. It looks like I'm holding CGI. This is the best Chrome I've seen ever on a figure. This is in, in I'm 42, I'm gonna be 43 this year. I know I look like I'm 53, but this is the best Chrome I have ever seen on a figure, period. Well done, well done. Now that piece keeps falling off.
Yeah, see this is, this is, you know, a metal piece that didn't need to be metal. It's a minor, minor complaint. It's a metal piece that didn't need to be metal. Minor issue. Transmetals was so revolutionary. I always found it fascinating how they started off as animals. Wasn't really connected to G1. Was it connected to G1? I don't know. By the end of season one, you're like, okay, it's connected to G1. Season two, they're still animals, but their animals have faux pseudo vehicle modes. Right? So in a way, if you think about it, all right, they're the descendants of the Autobots and the Decepticons, but they turn into animals and the closer we get to the more G1 storyline that it was inspired by, the more they become G1-esque and that they become more vehicle-like until you get to Beast Machines, there's vehicles. Boom. It was an incredible story. Beast Wars, was, it's it's still, to, to this day, my favorite Transformer show. Even though I worked on, a, on Transformer shows, it's still my favorite Transformer show ever. So, with that being said, we cut some tape today. Goodness gracious. I'm, I'm going to put these away because I got other stuff I need to do. I got customer orders I need to do. But this was great. This I'm so happy with these. Definitely getting Rat Trap. If they made a Rhinox, a Transmetal Rhinox, I would get it. He's not a show character, but I would get it. Air Razor, eh. Man, if they made a Tiger Hawk. All right, uh, just one last thing before we go. Does this actually fire? Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't fire. It's got a light in it, though. Trains are, I don't know if you're watching this, but you guys knocked it out of the park. I love, I can't even pull my shirt up to show you my, my tattoos because my muscles are so big. Uh, well done. And I hope you guys are successful and I hope you make some more products and I salute you. Transart, you're my CNN person of, of the day in spirit. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching Cut the Tape. Wash those hands, get vaxxed, get boosted, get waxed. Be nice to one another. I know Twitter is a thing, but you know, everyone's got balls on the internet. Anyway, be nice to each other when you meet someone in person, except for Squarehead. <sighs> All right. Thank you so much. Cut the tape. Be well. Register to vote.